so this is our first theorem. The theorem states, in English first, which I write below, for any set A, A is, an, is a subset of itself. This can also be understood to mean the subset relation is reflexive. So in symbols, we have the universal quantifier for all and the subset relation or inclusion relation. So we read the symbols for all A, A is a subset of A. And note that I've put a full stop after the formula. A formula are sentences, so they need to have full stops. Now here is the definition we're going to work with in order to do our proof. Let's start with the English definition first and then work with the symbols. A is a subset of B if and only if every element of A is an element of B. Now, in the symbols, we, we can sort of not be so concerned with the outside uh, quantifier, the outside universal quantifier for all A and B. Instead, what we should be concerned with is this if and only if. So, if and only if means that the implication goes both ways. It goes from the left to the right and the right to the left. So, this is a definition. It states that this symbol here, the subset symbol, is to be interpreted in terms of the more primitive symbol, uh, epsilon, or set membership. So, A is a subset of B, if and only if, for any X, for all X, X is an element of A, implies X is an element of B. The most simple way to read this if and only if is that it's like a stronger form of equality. It allows you to replace whole sentences, whole uh, logical sentences, logical formula, with one another. Okay, so now let's look at our theorem and our definition. So this obviously can be this uh, definition can obviously be substituted in to our theorem to give an equivalent statement which if we prove will prove the original theorem and here we have it here so this says for any set A and any X X is an element of A implies X is an element of A so immediately we see that the implication is rather trivial and you could almost state it say that it's true on the basis of common sense but I, I have given a proof and I will go into more detail on how to understand the proof in the next video thanks